All right, so let's talk about the two most evil beings in the universe. Um, the two entities, well, the main entities involved in the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, these two entities are also the T-1000 and the T-800. Okay? Um, and now it's interesting because the T-800 helps fight against the T-1000, but we'll get to all that in a second. <clears throat> so these are the two most evil entities of all time. Um, one of them Nero, the other one Caligula. And, you know, as history has kind of showed us, Nero is more evil than Caligula. But anyways, um, so let's talk about these two. Who are these two entities? Well, let's start with the T-1000, okay? The T-1000 is Mundus, okay? Mundus is a denizen of hell, was created by Ayin, um, who is God's evil sister, something came from nothing, she was the first entity to ever exist in the universe, she's the architect of hell, um, and th this is the being that God possibly came from, okay? Um, so anyways... So, but she created Mundus. Mundus is a demon that she created. Okay, God created himself. She didn't create God. Um, so, anyways, so Mundus is also Palpatine. Okay, as well as this T-1000. Um, which is more powerful than the T-800. Okay. So, um, can throw the T-800 around, you know, like a little bitch. Um, so anyway, so this one is Palpatine. Um, but, which, really, for you to understand this entire video, you need to go and learn about Feanor. Okay? An elf who turned evil. An elf who made these beautiful gems, the Cimmeril. And I need to learn more about Feanor, too. Um, but made these beautiful gems and then had them stolen by Morgoth. Okay? And we'll get to Morgoth later. Um, and so Feanor, uh, he needed ships to get to where Morgoth was. So he had to, like, kill. He, Feanor is an elf. He had to kill um, a bunch of his fellow elves, I guess that was like the first time there had ever been, um, that type of division within, you know, uh, with elven kind or whatever, so he killed a bunch of elves, and he, sailed, he used their ships, he needed their ships, he sailed on their ships to go defeat Morgoth and get his jewels back, um, and when he got, when they ended up sailing across the sea and getting to where they need to get to and seeing Morgoth's tower, he knew he couldn't penetrate that tower. And it literally burned him up so much inside that flames engulfed him and he was reduced to ash. Okay, um, so this is who the T-1000 really is. Um, so I'm saying he was also Caligula. In the Bible, he's also the beast that speaks like a dragon. Uh, I guess with horns on his head like a lamb. Um, and, you know, this one, he didn't, he's Pontius Pilate, of course. He didn't, and he didn't kill himself after killing Jesus. Okay, um, 
So this is also unlike unlike the T eight hundred. So this one is also uh, every Russian, for the most part, um, every homeless person, every gang member, every crackhead. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, so that's you know that's. That's pretty much his evil side, minus Feanor and his, uh, you know, um, creating of these beautiful jewels. Okay, um, but the treachery and all that against his fellow elves, you know, that that is all that that shows you how evil the homeless people. The now every homeless person you need to realize probably has a story very similar. To Feanor. Okay. Um, in their life. Wanted to be beautiful. Wanted to create beautiful things. And then. This Morgoth. This T-800. Um, who has. Azathoth behind him. Okay. Feanor merely has. Hell behind him. Ayin is not an all his, his maker is not an all powerful being. There are only three all powerful beings in the universe, and the T eight hundreds creator, Azathoth, is one of these three all powerful beings. The other two being God, of course, and Chaos. Okay, and God being the most powerful of them all. But, um, <clears throat> but anyways, so. So now let's let's look at what this being let's look at its crimes against evil okay well first of all it didn't want to kill jesus i don't think pontius pilate did ended up giving in but didn't want to kill jesus um again it, there, these russian people this is one of the only countries to ever have beheaded their leaders i believe france did too um so they got that going for them uh, or he's got whatever. Uh, Mundus has that going for itself. Now, along with Feanor, this is one of this beings and the creating of the jewels and all that and uh, really being not really evil, just being so heartbroken that he went insane. Um, this is a huge indictment upon Mundus. This is why the evil will have to reject you for me in the end. Okay, Sparta. Sparta is an incredibly powerful being that Mundus created. Remember, we know from Feanor's story, we know Mundus can create some extremely powerful stuff. Okay, um, extremely beautiful, extremely powerful, whatever. Mundus created Sparta, and Sparta was incredibly powerful. You have to realize in hell, where Mundus is a denizen of, there's constantly, they're constantly battling each other for the throne of hell, for who, for for the the, the rulership of hell. You got Satan down there. You got Mephistopheles down there. Um, you got these prime evils down there. Um, so there's all these different factions battling it. So Mundus is able to create this incredibly powerful being called Sparta. Now, Sparta, out of his, uh, out of love for humanity, I guess, you know, um, ended up turning on Mundus and single-handedly defeated Mundus. In all of Mundus's forces, okay. Um, well, maybe he had Gabriel helping him, but uh, but anyway. So uh, so, but and you would think Mundus, you're supposed to be this evil being, would curse Sparta's name forever. No, anybody who talks shit about Sparta, um, Mundus will fucking uh, bring his wrath to them. Okay, he will fuck them up. He loves Mundus. Mundus still loves Sparta. Even after the treachery or whatever. Another thing, Mundus' single manifestation is Tyra Banks, who, yes, is a malignant cunt, but 
was one of the most beautiful supermodels ever. Um, and, um, you know, so if you're that evil, then what are you doing being this beautiful? You know, look at a lot of these little porn stars out here. They're despicable, disgusting, vile-looking creatures. Why couldn't you be as vile-looking as them? No, because this thing really isn't that evil. See, this is who's evil's working with. Evil can only, you know, uh, go as far as the people... Just like good. It's only going to go as far... What do they say about good? Um, standing by or not? I don't know. Uh, so it needs people to... Or entities to be able to work through. And this one um, is all mixed up in the head. It's all fucked up. It's not really that evil. It's just conflicted. Um, you know, if you look at his Soprano... Sopranos portrayal, um, Davy Scatino. Uh, yeah, he's not really evil. He's got a gambling problem, and uh, you know he's. Um, they they don't they don't do him very much justice as far as making him out to be this really super menacing character. Okay, um, unlike a lot of the people they do in that show, I think they go out of their way to show he's just kind of fucking. Just this sad entity. Um, so you got that. Uh, and also is every late night TV show host. And there was a time when Conan O'Brien was damn near can't miss TV. I mean, you know, uh, hilarious, good, positive vibe. You know, a lot of those late night TV show guys. Okay. Um, minus Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon or whatever. Uh, but they all kind of had a, they, you know, there is a good side to, to them. So for that, you will be destroyed by the power of evil. It will find somebody better than you to rock with. And you will be um, just a fucking uh, proverbial little snack that this greater force of evil will gobble up. So... See you later.